Hello everyone, welcome to EZDU and today we are going to solve this numerical. This is numerical number 2.7 from the first year physics book. According to the numerical, a uniform rod 1 meter long with weight 6 newton can be supported in a horizontal position. Uh, let's suppose this is a uniform rod. The length of this rod is given as 1 meter. So this is 1 meter long. And the weight of this rod is given as 6 Newton. Uh, and this can be supported in a horizontal position on a sharp edge with weight of 10 Newton and 15 Newton suspended from its ends. Uh, 15 Newton weight is suspended from one end of this rod and 10 Newton weight is suspended from the other end of this rod. So we are going to calculate the position of the position of point of balance are the point from where this rod can be balanced horizontally. Now for solving this numerical, you need to understand this geometry. Let's suppose the total length of this rod is given as 1 meter. Then half of this length will be the midpoint and that will be equal to 0.5 meter. So we will determine the position of point of balance by solving the second condition of equilibrium and the second condition of equilibrium is the sum of all the torques will be equal to zero or the sum of all the clockwise torques will be equal to the sum of all anti-clockwise torques. Now here you can see that this mass is 15 Newton and the second mass is 10 Newton. So the position of point of balance will shift from the midpoint to the point of higher mass. For balancing this, for balancing the torque, the anti-clockwise torque with the torque with the clockwise torque, this position of point will shift from the midpoint toward the 15 Newton, 15 Newton weight. Now let's suppose uh, the distance between the position of point of balance as the midpoint is denoted by x. We will determine this value of x. Now for determining the value of this we will use second condition of equilibrium and that is the sum of. Uh, now uh, this torque is anti-clockwise and the torque produced by this 10 Newton weight is clockwise torque. So the torque on this left side will be equal to the, all the torques produced on the right side. Now we know that the torque T is equal to R cross F, our radius time force. Cross. This is the cross product between radius and force and this is equal to R F sine theta but when there is the theta is a, a 90 degree then we know that sine 90 is equal to one so we do not consider the theta here because they all are uh, perpendicular to each other so we have we will have the torque produced on this left side as f1 which is 15 newton multiplied by r minus x r is this half length which is 0.5 meter minus this x so we will have the moment of arm is equal to r minus x for this 15 newton uh, torque so we will have f1 into r minus x so this is the total anti-clockwise torque now this is the torque produced on the clockwise direction and the torque produced at the clockwise direction will be equal to the weight or force 10 newton multiplied by now this time this is r and this is x so we will have the moment of arm is equal to r plus x. We will have f2 into r plus x. Now this f1x, this f1, sorry. So this is just force f, f3 multiplied by x. This x is this moment of arm of this small distance. So this is, these are the torques produced by 15 Newton and 10 Newton of weight that are suspended from its ends. But what about the torque produced due to the weight of this rod? The weight of this rod is given as 6 Newton and this is a uniform rod. And according to 
or geometry we know that this weight will act at the midpoint of this rod and this midpoint is considered as the center of gravity so we take the center of gravity the midpoint of this rod and now this x is uh, will be the moment of arm for the torque produced by the weight of this rod so we will have fx f is the weight of the rod and x is this moment of arm now we will solve this equation and from this equation we will derive the value of x we know that f1 is 15 newton so we will have 15 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 is this r minus x is equal to 10 10 is a uh, force 2 or weight 2 which is 10 newton r here is 0.5 uh, meter plus x plus 6 into x now we will solve this equation for the value of x solving this for the value of x we will get uh, x is equal to 0 0.081 meter this x is the length from the center of this rod to the position of point of balance now the total length of the rod is given as 1 meter and the midpoint is 0.5 meter so we will subtract this x value from this 0.5 by subtracting this value from this 0.5 we will get this length the length from here to the position of point uh, position of point of balance so we will get r minus x is which is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.081 and we will get position of point of balance is equal to 0 0.419 that is the required answer that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe is you for more videos